I'ma crush it. Call me the gold. Hi, I'm Anthony Walker, your host for Unsung, our region's nonprofit online news magazine show. Welcome to the special holiday edition. This is a special show because for the first time on this program, we have all four of the Unsung team together. I'd like to introduce Melissa Carey, Christopher Whitlatch, and as always behind the camera, Mike Sorg. We'd also like to thank the Tunesium for hosting the entire Unsung crew today. We are in the new Lou Scheimer Gallery and it makes an excellent studio for us. Executive Director Joe Woese will also join us a little later as a special guest. In today's Unsung, we will take a look back at 2011 and a look ahead at 2012 and maybe even give you some of our ideas on how you can get involved in the community. Now I'd like to turn it to Christopher Whitlatch with a look at what made Unsung News in 2011. Christopher? Thanks, Anthony. It's a pleasure to be together with everyone today. As you know, we are usually out on location for this show. Unsung launched in May as the first original program for Pittsburgh on video. The media landscape has changed around the world, and Pittsburgh has not been immune to these changes. The amount of news reported by traditional media sources is in decline, and nonprofit news and events just are not covered as they once were. To bridge that gap, we envisioned Unsung, an online nonprofit news show. Our news comes from the nonprofits in our region, and we are proud to share that news with you. We started the show with Anthony in full superhero gear at the Superhero Run in May. And last week, we ended with some taking their first steps without pain in a long time, thanks to Operation Walk. Along the way, we have met great people that are working to make our community better. We even said goodbye to one with a tribute to Joyce Rothermel, who retired this year from the Greater Pittsburgh Area Food Bank. We also hope we opened your eyes a little to issues that impact our region with a tour of the food bank, a very special interview with Tony Hall on how we can fight hunger, how we are helping our neighbors get connected in a digital age, and how state, federal, and local budget cuts are putting additional stresses on our organizations that have seen an increase in demand for their vital services. One thing is for certain, we have enjoyed sharing these stories with you, and we look forward to bringing you even more stories in 2012. My resolution for you as the viewer, I hope you will take some time out of your busy life to engage with these organizations. You are the key to sharing them to a wider audience. Thanks, Christopher. Many of those wonderful stories were brought to you by the colleague sitting next to me, Melissa Carey. Today, though, she's going to share with you some resolutions for 2012. Thanks, Anthony. I'm so excited to be on set with you today. Amazing. I have a few ideas for resolutions uh, for myself, for the, the viewers that watch us, and for the nonprofits that we talk about. The first one is for myself. I do this as a volunteer, and a lot of times, you know, my stories come to Pittsburgh on video and they make it to Unsung. It really gives me a different perspective about the people who need help, uh, the, the people that the nonprofits serve. And what I'd like to do is have our community members do a 12 in 2012. If you could just one hour every month donate some time to a local nonprofit to get an idea of the stories, to get an idea of the things that our nonprofits are faced with, to get an idea of how a person comes to the situation where they need to ask for help. So that we can all work together to make the world a better place. And if you can take it one step further, Go back and share that on your social media channels, places like Twitter and Facebook, YouTube, and let people know what you found out. Let them, let them in on the story, even if the nonprofit doesn't have their own account. You can still talk about them and let people know where they are and the things that you've found out. And on that same token, I'd like nonprofits to start sharing more stories. Let us, let us feel what you do. Let us in on the passions and the work that you do. Um, take time to, to share that with, with the community members, but not just with the community members. Don't have tunnel vision. Look for the other nonprofits. There are so many wonderful nonprofits here, and I've met so many of you. And if we could work together through you know, Twitter and Facebook, read what they're talking about, share that with other people, and work together, those would be the two resolutions that I would like to see uh, come out of 2012. And now let's take a look at a few reflections and resolutions from our nonprofits. Good afternoon, I'm Jim Guffey, Executive Director for South Hills Interfaith Ministries. Our greatest challenge for 2012 
will be the ongoing funding from the federal and state governments. And our, our hope there is, is that, again, with an improving economy, revenues increase, and the programs that are vital services for those most needy in the community are continued to be funded. Uh, a percentage of our budget for SHIM comes out of federal and state dollars, so we are very challenged should those dollars disappear. But we're confident that the elected officials will do what's right and, and as a society and, and will take care of those who are the least of these. I think um, one of the strengths for us this past year has been the wonderful donors and volunteers, so we want to thank the donors and volunteers who have been supportive of us. Uh, for those of you who wish to know more about us, feel free to visit uh, www.shim-symbolcenter.org, and we'd love to include you as one of our many friends, and we're looking forward to a 2012 that hopefully is prosperous for us all. Hi, my name is Danielle Tyson. I serve as Program Manager for Leadership Pittsburgh, Inc.'s Leadership Development Initiative Program. Um, so our resolution as an organization is probably more work-life balance. Um, as anybody knows, Leadership Pittsburgh and our staff team, that's probably not a surprise to many. Um, but we really need more people to apply to our programs. So if you're interested in becoming more involved in the region, if you're interested in becoming a better leader, if you're interested in learning more about the city, um, apply to Leadership Pittsburgh or to Leadership Development Initiative, www.lpinc.org. Now, hi, I'm Tammy Dixon. And I'm Jeffrey Carpenter. And we're with Bricolage Production Company. And I think we have a lot of things to be thankful for in Lots 2011. To be for. Very, very a large amount. We have. Um, extraordinary community of artists that we get to work with. Actors, directors, designers, playwrights, uh, all kinds of amazing people we've worked with this year. No, I think that I'll resolve, I, I want to make a resolution for uh, potential audience members out there in Pittsburgh um, to see more theater and to support the arts. Um, to try something new. Try something new. Get outside of your your comfort zone. All right, it's Mikey and Bob, Kiss Morning Freak Show. Uh, this year, we had a fun year this year. We did have a good year. A lot of uh, good work we did and everything. Uh, probably, you know, one of our biggest things we do every year is stuff a box where we collect toys for the Rings Toys for Tots program. We also got our first song on iTunes, though. That's a big deal. And that's all that money deal. goes to the Greater Pittsburgh Food Bank, so that's a big deal, too. We made a Thanksgiving rap song, put it up on iTunes, got some money for the Pittsburgh Food Bank. It's Gobble Gobble, it's called, if you want to download that, by the way. Yeah, it's a nice plug right there. But looking forward to next year. I think we're just gonna storm iTunes, man. Take over the charts, really become rap superheroes like Wiz Khalifa and Mac Miller for the city of Pittsburgh. Yep, yep, yep. Rep real hard. Um, All of our money goes to charity for our iTunes songs, by the way. So we're not gonna rep anything. Well, next. Year, if I did get rap money, though, I'd buy a unicorn. <laughs> so next year we're gonna do some more charity, put some more songs on iTunes, raise some more money, and Bob's gonna get a unicorn. So. But we'll get to a few more of those here in a bit. First, joining me from Toonsium is Joe Wopes. Joe, 2011 was a pretty big year for the Toonsium. How about you fill in the people on what happened? Well, it was just really exciting. We, we had, you know, moved just two years ago from our home in the Children's Museum of Pittsburgh to downtown Pittsburgh's Cultural District, and it's just been exciting. Um, we had some wonderful exhibits covering everything from Looney Tunes to our superheroes, icons, and origins. We had remarkable guests. Um, Jerry Robinson, who just passed away, the creator of The Joker, was here. Um, Chris Nolan filmed Batman directly out in front of the Toonsium, which uh, we saw a lot of visitors from that, a lot of Bat tourism, which was a new thing for us. So everything from great exhibits to great programs, it, it truly was an exciting year. Now, you currently expanded the space downtown. So what can the people look forward to in 2012? Well, it was absolutely just thrilling. We got to name the new gallery after Lou Scheimer. Lou Scheimer is the founder of Filmation Studios, um, best known for their work on He-Man, She-Ra, Fat Albert, many of these great legendary iconic shows. Um, so that was a great honor to be able to name it after a man from Pittsburgh who went on to such greatness. So we have a really high standard uh, to hold up in this gallery. Uh, so you can expect to see a lot of great exhibits. Um, we're going to continue that high standard, just wonderful quality exhibits for the whole family. Um, but you'll also see a little edgier stuff in here, too. Uh, we have an exhibit from Jim Rugg, who is a local cartoonist, uh, who has done remarkable work on Aphrodisiac and Street Angel. You're also going to see a lot more animation uh, art in here. Uh, we have an exhibition called Funky Turns 40, 
which will be opening in February, which features African-American characters in animation. So uh, everything from Fat Albert uh, all the way through the Jackson 5. So it's a really neat selection. And then lots more programming. Um, we were honored to have, receive a grant from the Sprout Fund to create the Cartoon Comics Reading Courtyard. So this spring, you'll be able to come to the Toonzeum, sit outside in our brand new courtyard, and read comics. I mean, who could ask for more of their lunch hour? And finally, uh, do you have any personal resolutions for 2012 or any Pittsburgh-related resolutions for the new year? I, I absolutely do. I mean, on a personal level, I've dedicated a lot of time to the Toonzeum and, and will continue to do so. But uh, I'm looking forward to focusing a little bit on some of my own cartooning work, getting back to sort of my roots as a cartoonist. Uh, I'm working on publishing a book of my mazes, so that's definitely something that's a resolution for me. Uh, for Pittsburgh, I love this city, um, but I do have a couple resolutions. I want to be able to get a hot dog wrapped in bacon at 2 a.m. Um, outside of one of the bars downtown Liberty Avenue. So more food vendors would be great. Uh, they have this other thing in cities that's sort of magical. You stick your hand out and a cab appears. That would be nice for the city. Um, and I guess on the positive side, I, I'm, I'm going to stop refer referring to the uh, parking authority as the Legion of Doom um, and just refer to them as Skeletor. Yeah, fantastic. Well, we look forward to everything that Tunzium does. So good luck in the new year, and thank you for hosting us. Thank you. Lots going on, so stay tuned. Let's hear from a few more nonprofits. I'm Sister Barbara Finch, president of Just Harvest Board, and my resolution, and the resolution I hope for our whole organization, our membership, and even the citizens of our Pittsburgh region, is that we have a clarion call to our government officials to place policies in place that will end hunger and poverty in our time. It can be done and it's our resolution to keep the pressure on that it will happen for us in our lifetime. Hi, I'm Tracy Brigden. I'm the Artistic Director of City Theater here in the historic South Side. And we are a theater company that's over 35 years old. Yeah, here. And if there was anyone I was going to thank, it would be, you know, we have a wonderful staff creating these plays. The artists that create these plays are astounding. We have a terrific board of directors who are so supportive of this mission to do new work which is actually a really rare mission in the country these days. And they support us not only with their act active participation as board members, they support us financially, our patrons support us financially, and we couldn't do it without them. So I really, really am grateful for all the volunteers that help us make this great theater here on the South Side. If you want to find City Theater or purchase tickets, it's really easy to do so on our website, which is citytheatercompany.org. We also have a terrific Facebook page that you can find, and there's all kinds of fun blogs and contests and people you know, writing back and forth on that page all the time, so it's a fun thing to follow. You can also just call us, good old telephone, 412-431-2489, C-I-T-Y-2489, um, or you can just come by the South Side. When you're uh, walking around one night having dinner, come in box office and just buy some tickets or, or see a show that night. Um, so I hope you'll come by and check us out at City Theater. I am Rob Johnston, Rob on the Run is my Twitter handle as well. There's so many cool things in the city of Pittsburgh. So many people taking an active role to see change. Um, and Berg Baby, um, also um, uh, Pit Girl, uh, Jane Pitt. Big room for kids! Sorry, beef that, but it doesn't matter because it's an awesome cause. Make Room for Kids and Christmas Crazy. Got to do some stuff with that this year uh, with the Scare House. Um, so it's been a really incredible year in doing things for others. And I think that's what makes the city of Pittsburgh so incredible is because it's made up of people who absolutely love to do things for other people. It's caring. Uh, and so it's been a good year, and I'm really excited for 2012 uh, if the zombie apocalypse doesn't happen. So, Anthony, we've not heard from you. Do you have any resolutions? Well, 2011 for me was an amazing year. I accomplished so much, uh, both personal and for the community of Pittsburgh that I love so much. I started Chachi Plays for Kids, which is a video game marathon in which people donate. I spend 24 hours playing video games straight, and the money goes to a different children's charity each year. Last year it was Make Room for Kids, and it provided so much gaming equipment and computer equipment for the long-term care ward of Children's Hospital. Um, so we're gonna do it again. It's at chachiplays.com. Uh, this year it'll be on February 10th and 11th here at Toonzeum for 24 hours. And you can check out all the details at chachiplays.com. So if anything, 
I just need to, my resolution is to be better. Before we go today, we want to get Mike out from behind the camera. Come on, Mike. Thanks, Anthony. 2011 was a pretty good year for me. Uh, it was great uh, getting on with Unsung here. Uh, thanks to this show, I've been able to see more of Pittsburgh than I have in the 10 years I've been here. Uh, and it's been really tremendous to do that, and I'm thankful to be able to do it with my best friend up there in front of the camera most of the time. And uh, in 2012, I, I look to see this show grow bigger, uh, some other initiatives coming up to hopefully uh, show Pittsburgh, because I really think Pittsburgh needs to be shown on a national level in some aspects, and, uh, and, I hope, and I hope a lot of efforts like Pittsburgh on video shows there's a big community here. And uh, I hope to be a part of, of getting that out there so everybody knows that Pittsburgh is the place to be. Uh, back to you. It has been a wonderful year for Unsung. On behalf of everyone here, we'd like to wish you a wonderful holiday season and a healthy and happy new year. We'll see you back here on Unsung in mid-January. Until then, you can catch up on previous episodes and our Unsung Uncut series at pittsburghunvideo.org. I'm Anthony Walker. And I'm Melissa Carey. We'll see you next time, Pittsburgh. Keep it awesome. So I said, I'm going to crush it. Call me the golden boy because it shine whenever I touch it. Don't rush it. The flow comes naturally. Actually, the whole hood after me. Masterpiece, I outran a pace car. And these dudes f***ing mad because they can't even find a day job. I stay hard with or without Viagra. And I said, the flow crush like the force of Niagara. I'm after a major label budget. But since I'm not pop top 40, they all scared to touch it.